Well, it's one thing to have launched the Northwest Pilot, as happened here at uh, the Manufacturing Leaders Conference this morning. It's quite another to work out what happens next. Well, I'm delighted to say that I've got two ladies with me today who are going to tell me exactly what's going to happen. I've got Donna Edwards, who's Pilot Program Lead for the Northwest Pilot. This is now official, Donna, isn't it? This is, this great. is real now, yes. This is it's real. not a We've piece been... of paper anymore. Yeah, it's, it's many, many months of, uh, <laughs> yeah. of struggle. Yeah. And Medina Barker, who's Managing Director of CNC Robotics Limited uh, in Aintree, yes. uh, here in beautiful Liverpool. Um, uh, we, we are obviously good friends of yours at the manufacturer, uh, but you are part of this as well. Tell us a, a little bit about why you, as a robotics company, uh, is getting involved in the Northwest Pilot. Okay, so we, uh, as a small business ourselves, realise that obviously the, the more help that SMEs can get, the better, really. Uh, we have worked really closely with LCR4, which is uh, headed up by Simon Reid, and we work really that's closely. The, uh, that's the uh, Liverpool City Region 4.0 initiative. It is, yeah. yes, yes. So that's headed up by Simon Reid, uh, and we work quite closely with uh, the Liverpool LEP. Um, and really, I think the Northwest Made Smarter Pilot is a fantastic opportunity for us as SMEs to engage, to really maximise our potential. Um, and obviously Donna can probably tell you a bit more about what that landscape's going to look like, but yeah, it's... Well, perhaps I should have started, actually, yeah. because uh, <laughs> Donna, I mean, it really is... What is the Northwest Pilot actually going to do? Nuts and bolts. Well, actually, it's going to help um, engage 3,000 small manufacturing and engineering businesses across the Northwest. Um, 600 of those we're hoping are and that's, that's, that's a real figure that's uh, 3,000 companies I mean uh, yeah. maybe more, yeah. more well there are 14,500 of those companies across the North West um, as a whole group um, and obviously we're saying about 20% of those we would like to engage with the pilot some people will engage and decide it's not for them some people will engage and think yes I'll, I'll have a go at that um, and the specialist advisors that we will employ will actually go out and work with those companies to help them identify what potential solutions are for them to improve their productivity. It is the advice, isn't it? Because yeah. it, it really does feel like SMEs in this country, <clears throat> they, they get the idea, I think, but for an awful lot of them, it's not knowing how to get from here to there. Medina, is that, yeah. was that a fair characterization? Absolutely. I think it's really... Um, about how we actually deliver the solution so it's not you know it's for an SME it's also about understanding what support is out there it can be very overwhelming to 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 understand what funding's out there what grants are out there what support for skills development is out there and absolutely I, I believe uh, you know along with Donna that, that the Northwest Made Smarter Pilot is going to be able to bring all of this together to enable SMEs to become more productive so that we can deliver the industrial strategy. Donna that's the point the support is tangible this is not just people wagging their fingers and telling SMEs you know this is what you need to do there is actually tangible financial support uh, advisory support a little bit of hand holding or a lot if that's a what they need, they need it, yeah. and uh, that can have a tremendous impact on a, on a SME who is trying to get to the next level yeah. the ultimate level it is and you don't know what you don't know so you hear somebody saying they're doing it you know we all know the horror stories where it all went wrong they got something that was over uh, didn't do what they wanted it to do it was too complicated so it just got left the provider bought away and then the SME just put it back in the corner and went back to doing what they're doing. So this is about real, tangible, long-term support for those companies with an advisor that's there in their interest. So this isn't about selling a particular product or a particular idea. This is genuinely working with those companies to find the right solution for them. Medina, I, we all know that SMEs uh, in this country have been slightly more reluctant to engage with these new digital technologies, yeah. uh, the enabling technologies mm -hmm. of the fourth industrial yeah. revolution than in other countries. Why do you think that is? And isn't that really the reason why the government's having to support the Northwest Pilot? Yeah. For the very simple reason that actually, 
you know, SMEs have been backwards and coming forwards? Yeah, I think in the UK, uh, predominantly, you know, this isn't obviously every company, but we do have a bit of a, if it ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of mentality. And I think what we're seeing is that actually we need a huge cultural shift, and that's only going to happen if we engage with programmes like the Northwest Made Smarter Pilot, um, because we, we, we have to change this cultural thinking. We are massively behind in terms of robots per 10,000 people. Like in the UK at the moment, the figure is about 71 per 10,000 employees. In places like Germany, it's about 365 per 10,000 employees. We're hugely behind already and we're, we're playing catch up. So we need to evolve, we need to change and we need to move forward. Is there, is there an opportunity given that digital technologies are much cheaper or can be much cheaper per headcount, if you like, in a, for a small company to, to adopt, that if we really get our, 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 our bit between our teeth, we could, we could make up for that difference uh, that Medina's just outlined. There is a chance for us here. We're not condemned always to be in the slow lane. No, we're not. And sometimes when you've got a point to prove and you've got to catch up, um, actually great things start to happen. And it is about creating that movement, um, a consistency of language, um, showcasing people who have done it and it doesn't have to be an expensive solution so I think you know in the UK we love a challenge don't we yeah. just to prove somebody wrong <laughs> <laughs> so I think we this is a great opportunity for us to do that especially in the Northwest all right so listen with manufacturers are watching this where next do they go where do they where do they find details and and what next do they expect to hear from you we will go to market in the new year targeting SMEs about this is made smarter uh, we're in setup phase at the moment. Um, we've got some advisors in place, we'll get more. And I think if anybody wants to know more at the moment, then go to madesmarter.uk. Yeah. Well, listen, thank okay. you both very much indeed for coming to uh, have a chat at TM you, Studio. Mate. And we look forward to the, the, the next bit of news to come out of Made Smarter. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.